Here is a visual proof that the Quran is a book from God, containing both prophecy and a scientific miracle within particle physics. Throughout history, people have tried to find evidence for the existence of God, but what we are about to show you may be one of the strongest proofs that the Quran is a book from God, and thus proof of God's existence. Here, we will visually demonstrate step by step how this proof looks, which is a combination of prophecy and a scientific miracle from modern science. Something like this has never been presented on the internet before, where the miracle from the book that claims to be from God is shown in detail for all people to see with their own eyes. God has said in the Quran that He will show His signs everywhere, in the universe and within ourselves, that the Quran is His book. And now, we are witnessing it with our own eyes as God uses modern science, which many atheists take pride in and through which they try to deny God's existence. We will now show how God proves Himself through His book, the Quran, and that the Quran is indeed His book precisely through modern science, which atheists believe is sufficient to disprove God's existence. Is one of elementary particle physics, is mentioned by God in the Quran by name and hinted its mass. Before we begin with the presentation of this Quranic miracle, let's first explain how this miracle is constructed with an example in the English language. Double information codings in the same text. How is this done in the Quran? Let me give you an example of how Quranic numerical programming works. Let's say I write a sentence. Chapter 18, verse 65. Edna was a beautiful girl who helped the poor and orphans in Ednabel City in ancient times. Now, let's say I know the future. Even though I am providing information about this girl Edna in Ednabel, I also choose to place this at chapter 18, verse 65. Additionally, I deliberately include the letters DNA in two words, Edna and Ednabel, only at this specific place in the entire book, out of 6,236 verses, to correspond with the future year when the science of DNA will officially begin, in year 1865. This is how Quranic numerical programming works, offering double layers of information. Providing double information is an amazing and strong example that this book was sent by a supreme being. It tells a useful story from the past for people to learn from, while at the same time programming information about the future within the same text. When future generations witness these events with their own eyes, it can strengthen their faith in the book and even make them believe in life after death. After all, if I know about the future and inform them about it, they will have witnessed my knowledge with their own eyes when these program facts appear in reality. Now that we understand how the Quran was written and what the codings of double information within the same text are, it will be easier for us to comprehend the examples of double information codings that we will now present, which are prophecies and miracles of the Quran. What is the Tau Leptin? The tau leptin is a type of elementary particle, much like the electron but much heavier. It belongs to the leptin family, which also includes the electron and the muon. These particles are fundamental building blocks of matter and cannot be broken down into smaller components. Where does it occur? Tau leptins are produced in high-energy processes such as particle collisions, like those in the Large Hadron Collider or in the decay of heavier particles, such as Z bosons or Higgs bosons. They occur naturally in cosmic rays and high-energy physics experiments. When was it discovered? The tau lepton was first discovered in 1975 by Martin Pearl and his team at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center during electron-positron collision experiments. Pearl's discovery of the tau earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1995. The tau leptin is important for studying fundamental forces and interactions in particle physics. However, it is unstable and decays very quickly, producing other particles like electrons, muons, and neutrinos.
leptin appear in the Quran with its mass as one of the proofs that the Quran is a divine book and not a book written by humans. When we search for the word Tau in the Quran, which is incorporated into the already known Arabic words from that time, we see in Quranic search engines that Tau is mentioned most in Surah 12, Surah Joseph, out of the 114 surahs in the Quran. Surah 12 has a total of 1,777 words, while the Tau leptin has a mass of 1,777 mega electron volts. Here we see that God mentioned Tau the most in a surah that is numerically connected to the mass of the Tau leptin, which would be discovered in the future, specifically in 1975. This is a prophecy, as Tau is mentioned and the Tau leptin was named and discovered only in 1975, indicating that this is a prophecy of a future event. At the same time, it is a scientific miracle because the author of the Quran, in this case God, knows the future and all the elementary particles he personally created and how much mass they have, thus encoding this in his book as proof that it is his book. Now we will show you step by step this miracle from the Quran so that you, dear viewer, can see it with your own eyes. Because as the saying goes, a picture is worth more than a thousand words. At GPT, we can see how To is written in Arabic. Here in this Arabic-English lexicon on the internet, we can see how to is written in Arabic. Put the word Tau in Arabic into the Quran search engine to see how many times Tau appears in words in the Quran and in which chapter it is mentioned the most. As you can see, the search results show that Tau is mentioned the most in chapter 12. Here we will show you in this Quranic search engine, how many words chapter 12, contains by clicking on the name of the chapter to get the result. As you can see, the search engine shows us that chapter 12 has 1777 words, exactly the same as the mass of the Tau leptin. The internet, we will see that the Tau leptin has a mass of 1,777 mega electron volts. A research center of the Helmholtz Association has presented the most precise measurement of the Tau leptin's mass on their webpage, which was measured as 1,777.09 plus minus 0.1 for mega electron volts. GPT whether it was possible in the 7th century, when the Quran was revealed to Muhammad, for people anywhere on earth to discover something as small as the elementary particle Tau leptin, the answer was that it was impossible for people to discover that.
Phanathius were to say that this is just a coincidence, how do we know that this is not a coincidence, but rather deliberate encoding by an intelligence, in this case, God? To determine whether this is a coincidence or intentional coding, we take into account the number of numerical codings found in the Quran, specifically, more than 700 various numerical codings, and this example with the Tau Lepton is just one of those over 700 examples found in the Quran. If we had only found three or four examples in one book, we might all agree that it could just be coincidence. However, with over 700 examples in one book, it rules out coincidence. The high frequency of numerical correlations in such a small space, like one book, points to intentional coding rather than chance. We even asked ChatGPT, and it responded with the following. In probability theory, coincidences do occur, but when they happen repeatedly and with such specificity in one context, it becomes harder to attribute them to random chance. This is the basis of the argument you're presenting, that too many coincidences suggest design or coding. If these patterns appear independently of one another, it might point to the idea that they were deliberately placed there by God as signs, aligning with the Quranic verse, 4153, that God will show signs to humanity in the future. After seeing with your own eyes this Quranic miracle, which is both a prophecy and a marvel of modern science, specifically in the field of particle physics, it becomes clear to all people that the Quran is indeed from the all-knowing God. God knew that in the future, humans would name his particle Tau, and he encoded this word into existing Arabic words in a precise position to connect it with the mass of the Tau lepton, which is 1,777 mega electron volts. This is entirely consistent with the way God has performed miracles through His prophets to different peoples throughout history. Miracles came as challenges to the people, focusing on something popular within their society. For example, the people of Moses were involved in black magic, so God sent miracles in the domain of magic that surpassed their tricks. Not only that, but these miracles came with wisdom, like turning the waters of the Nile into blood, as if to show that God had defeated their false god, Hapi. Hapi, the god of the Nile, was central to Egyptian religion because the Nile was their lifeblood. Turning the Nile into blood could symbolize the death of this god in the eyes of the people. Similarly, with the plague of frogs, the frog was associated with the Egyptian goddess Heket, a deity of fertility and childbirth, often depicted with a frog's head. This plague could symbolize her powerlessness before the true god. Snakes in ancient Egypt were associated with deities like Wajet, the serpent goddess who symbolized Pharaoh's power. The victory over the magicians and their snakes could symbolize the defeat of Egyptian gods. Similarly, during the time of Jesus, medicine was popular, so God gave medical miracles through Jesus, such as being born without a father, raising the dead, healing the sick, and curing the blind with a touch. During the time of Muhammad, poetry was popular, so God gave the Quran with its unique style in the domain of poetry, surpassing the Arabic poetry of that time. We see from history that God uses miracles wisely, challenging the disbelievers of that era in the fields where they are experts. Now, with this example of the Tau Lepton, we see that God acts exactly as He has done throughout history, challenging the disbelievers in the field where they are experts in this era, modern science, which many atheists take pride in and use to try to deny God. Here, we see an example of how God reveals Himself through the Quran and modern science with the example of the Tau Lepton, which is so small that we need the Large Hadron Collider to study it using the most advanced technology of our time. And yet, God hinted at the Tau Lepton and its mass 1,400 years ago in His book, the Quran. What does this mean for you, dear viewer? 
this realization of the Quranic miracle that God reveals in our time? Will we look at this and say, oh, that's interesting, and then turn away as if we haven't heard or seen anything, as if this doesn't concern us? But in reality, it concerns each and every one of us. What we have presented is a visual proof that the Quran is the book of God, and thus, proof of God's existence, because the alternative is illogical. The idea that humans somehow manage to encode this without divine help, or that it is mere coincidence, has been thoroughly debunked. We've elaborated in detail why it is impossible for humans to have written this and why it's not just a coincidence. The remaining option is that we believe this is the work of God because God Himself promises in the Quran that He will show His signs everywhere, both in the universe and within ourselves, to prove that the Quran is His book. If we believe that the Quran is the book of God, that automatically means we must believe in the existence of the Day of Judgment after our death, where we will be held accountable for our deeds in this world. This means we need to prepare for that day because it will determine where we go, either to paradise, which is eternal enjoyment in the vast gardens of heaven, or, through our actions, we may earn the depths of hell, a place far from being a vacation spot or a pleasant excursion. Let me add one more thing that happened while creating this video. On the day I began working on this video, I decided to read a page of the Quran before going to sleep. On that page, I read a verse, and it felt as if I was reading it for the first time, as if God Himself was speaking to me through the Quran. It was the last verse of chapter 27, where God says, 27, 93 say, Praise belongs to God, He will show you His signs so that you will recognize them. Your Lord is never unmindful of what you all do. When I read this verse, I was in shock. It felt like God was speaking directly to me about the Tau Lepton miracle from the Quran. It felt as though God was saying to me personally, You have recognized the miracle in my book. Dear viewers, let us take a lesson from everything we've presented in this video. Death comes to all of us, and after death, we will stand before God to answer for our deeds. Let us strive to ensure that our actions are in accordance with what God has said in the Quran and what the Prophet Muhammad has conveyed in the Hadiths.